Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla Gojira vs. Super Sugojira, Gojira Tai Super Sugojira, is a 1994 Japanese science fiction tokusatsu kaiju film featuring Godzilla, produced and distributed by Toho. The film is directed by Kensho Yamashita and is the 21st film in the Godzilla franchise and the sixth film in the Heisei series. The film was released in Japan on December 10, 1994 and was released direct-to-video in the United States in 1999 by Columbia TriStar Home Video. Topic. Plot Godzilla cells brought into space by Bioyante and Mothra are exposed to intense radiation from a black hole, resulting in the birth of Space Godzilla, which quickly makes his way to Earth, destroying a NASA space station along the way. Meanwhile, members of the United Nations Godzilla Countermeasures Center arrive at Birth Island in order to plant a mind control device on Godzilla. The Cosmos, Mothra's twin priestesses, appear to psychic Miki Segusa and warn her of Space Godzilla's arrival. MOGUERA Mobile Operations G-Force Universal Expert Robot, Aero-Type, a mecha built by the JSDF to replace Mecha Godzilla, is sent in to intercept Space Godzilla, but suffers damage in the process. Space Godzilla lands on Birth Island and attacks Godzilla's offspring, Little Godzilla. Godzilla intervenes but finds himself overwhelmed by Space Godzilla, and is powerless to stop his clone from trapping Little Godzilla in a crystal prison. Space Godzilla leaves for Japan with Godzilla in pursuit. Shortly thereafter, the Yakuza abduct Miki and bring her back to their base in Fukuoka in an attempt to use her psychic abilities to gain control over Godzilla. Miki is saved by a rescue team before Space Godzilla arrives. Space Godzilla lands in central Fukuoka and forms a massive fortress of celestial crystals. MOGUERA arrives to once again fight Space Godzilla, but is still no match for him. Godzilla arrives in Kagoshima Bay and fights Space Godzilla, but Space Godzilla easily gains the upper hand. The JSDF discovers that Space Godzilla is using Fukuoka Tower as a power converter, using it to transform the Earth's core into an energy that Space Godzilla can absorb, slowly killing the planet. While Godzilla wrestles with Space Godzilla, MOGERA splits into two different mechas, the Star Falcon, a flying battleship, and the land MOGERA, a tank with a large drill in front of it. The mechas damage the Crystal Fortress while Godzilla pushes over Fukuoka Tower, cutting off Space Godzilla's energy supply. MOGERA quickly reforms and blasts off Space Godzilla's crystal-like shoulder formations, weakening him. Space Godzilla critically damages MOGUERA, but is subsequently incinerated by Godzilla's supercharged atomic heat ray. Space Godzilla is destroyed, but the JSDF claims that if they keep polluting space another Space Godzilla may appear someday. Godzilla makes his way back to Birth Island after Miki uses her psychic powers to remove the mind control device from his neck which he turns to her and nods in gratitude. Little Godzilla is then freed from the crystal prison and begins blowing tiny radioactive bubbles. Topic. Cast Topic. Production Although director Kensho Yamashita and screenwriter Hiroshi Kashiwabara had more experience in producing teen idol movies, they were not newcomers to the kaiju genre, having both assumed minor roles in the making of Terror of Mechagodzilla. The two decided early in production to make the film more light-hearted than its predecessors and more focused on character development, centering it on Megumi Odaka's recurring character Miki Segusa, who had previously played marginal roles in the series. The emphasis on light-heartedness was such that a scene depicting Godzilla desperately trying to rescue his son from Space Godzilla's crystal prison was deleted on account of its seriousness, a move disapproved of by Godzilla suit actor Kenpachiro Satsuma. The idea of a Space Godzilla was first conceived in 1978, and was designed as a homage to the monster's hinted progenitor Bioyante by incorporating tusks and a hissing roar reminiscent of the latter monster. Creature designer Shinji Nishikawa had initially envisioned Space Godzilla as a much more western dragon-like creature with large fin-like wings on the back. The final design bore greater resemblance to Godzilla's final form from the video game Super Godzilla, itself also designed by Nishikawa. Effects artist Koichi Kawakita redesigned Godzilla's son as a more cartoonish-looking character, having disliked the more dinosaurian-looking version in Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 and hoping to launch a children's spin-off TV series entitled Little Godzilla's Underground Adventure. 
The MOGUERA suit was worn by Mechagodzilla performer Wataru Fukuda, and consisted of three pieces applied separately. The new Godzilla suit used for the majority of the film combined aspects of the suits used in Godzilla vs. Bio Yante, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah and Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, having a stocky, triangular build, wide shoulders and much less pronounced ribbing on the neck. The face bore similarities to those used in the previous two films, though the eyes were increased in size and given more prominent whites, thus making it relatively less menacing looking than its predecessors. Innovations included the head's ability to fully rotate around the body, and the incorporation of an air duct which solved the chronic ventilation problems present in previous suits. The suit from Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 was reused for Godzilla's entrance and exit from Birth Island and during the scene where he is telekinetically tossed by Space Godzilla, composer Akira Ifukub refused to be involved in the film after reading the script, which reminded him too much of a teen idol film and included rap music. Topic. English version After the film was released in Japan, Toho commissioned a Hong Kong company to dub the film into English. In this international version of the movie, an English title card was superimposed over the Japanese title, as had been done with the previous 90s Godzilla films. Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment released Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Destroyer on home video on January 19, 1999. This was the first time either film had been officially released in the United States. TriStar used the Toho dubs, but cut the end credits and created new titles and opening credits for both films. Toho's complete international version of Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla sans any on-screen text besides the English title has been broadcast on several premium movie channels since the early 2000s, as well as the 2014 Blu-ray release. Topic Reception Topic <reception> Box Office Released on December 10, 1994, the film sold approximately 3,200,000 tickets in Japan and grossed around $20 million US $32 million worldwide. As the film's release coincided with the Kobe earthquake, Toho feared that the event would put off audiences due to the film's main battle sequence taking place in the same area, and thus sought to remedy this by lowering ticket prices. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Critical reaction. The film received mainly mixed reviews. Monster Zero called the film a curiously uninvolving effort that disappoints in nearly all aspects of the production." American Kaiju criticized the "...wildly uneven pacing," "...uneven special effects," and "...exceedingly lumpy story," but added that "...most of the special effects are pretty fair," and "...the monster battles are mostly fun." DVD Cult said, "...it does have some great destruction scenes and monster battles, two things that make these films worthwhile to begin with." The monster Space Godzilla is excellently designed, and is certainly far more menacing than anything Dean Devlin and Roland Emmerich ever dreamed up." Toho Kingdom said the film is, "...far from terrible," and, "...an underrated movie," but felt it suffered from an, "...overly complicated story," "...underdeveloped characters," and, "...forgettable," music. <laughs> Home media. Sony, Blu-ray, Toho Godzilla Collection. Released, May 6, 2014. Picture, AVC 1080p. Sound, Japanese and English, 5.1 DTS. Subtitles, English, dubtitles, and French. Extras, teasers and theatrical trailers, 7 minutes, 1080i 30fps. Notes, this is a two-disc double feature with Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, DVD. Columbia, TriStar Home Entertainment. Released, February 1, 2000. Aspect ratio, widescreen, 1.85, 1, anamorphic, NTSC. Sound, English, 2.0. Case type, keep case. Region 1. Note, a double feature with Godzilla vs. Destroyer.
On the US DVD release, the final scene in which Godzilla is in the water while Echoes of Love date of birth plays is cut, however, it is left in the TV, on-demand and Japanese DVD versions. Universe Laser Released, November 24, 2006 Aspect Ratio, Widescreen Sound, Japanese, Cantonese Dolby Digital Stereo Subtitles English, Chinese Traditional, Simplified Region 3 Topic. Adaptations A manga adaptation was produced shortly before the film's release, it was written by Kanji Kashiwabara and illustrated by Takayuki Sakai, published by Shogakukan's Ladybug Comics line. Topic. Awards In 1995, the film won the Best Grossing Films Award, Silver Award. <laughs> 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 